thank you for joining sports development series we all truly put my ekior Uh, Sports Dev Series is sponsored by Arewa Baobab Fruit Powder, um, one of the most nutritious substances on the planet. Get your Baobab Fruit Powder from arewababab.com. Sports Dev Series, welcome guys. So, as we continue our AFCON Watch Series, we're moving on with our next player, uh, a striker that plays for VFB Stuttgart, who is a Guinean international. His name is Seru Gerasi. Um, for those that don't know, Guinea is a country in West Africa, borders Liberia and Sierra Leone. Small country. They kind of compete every now and then in um, African Cup of Nations. But uh, uh, Keita, another player that plays for Liverpool, is a player also from Guinea. Have some very talented players, but lack of development, uh, football development that is in their country, has kind of hampered their ability to rise to the ranks that compiled with the typical challenges you may see in developing countries, the funding needed to invest into the game and just I guess in life in general, but a lot of really talented athletic young, young uh, athletes come from that country. But back to uh, Seru Grassi, really good player. He was born in France uh, to Guinean parents and grew up in Arles, France. He, Started playing for his youth club, which was a club called Montargis, and then moved to Amalie and then Laval. These are all clubs he played during his youth career. Um, and then he bounced around a couple of times between different clubs from Laval to Lille, uh, went to Auxerre. Uh, those that don't know, Auxerre is a club in France. They had really good times back in the day in Ligue 1, which is the highest division in France, and then got relegated a couple of times. But then he was with Auxerre, and then he gets sent to Cologne in the Bundesliga. Joined the club in Bundesliga, but he was plagued with tons of injuries, muscle injuries, had a meniscus tear, um, and then also had an inflammation of his pelvic region, a bone injury. Um, long story short, he left, and then he was loaned while he was at Cologne to Amiens, uh, they decided to try to get his rights and keep him. Ended up paying about five, I think, six million euros for his transfer. Um, and played pretty well there. Scored a couple of goals, um, specifically a game against PSG where he scored um, a brace. And then he moved on to Rennes, uh, which also is a club that plays in Ligue 1. Uh, has a pretty good out in the Rens. Um, played pretty well for them. And then in 2022, he goes to VIP Stuttgart on loan. Now, while at Stuttgart, plays well, ends up playing spectacularly well at Stuttgart and banging in goals, especially this season. So if you if you look at him this season, he's currently 27 years old, a late bloomer, if you will, which for those that don't know, kind of means he didn't really do much up until this point. Three years shy from 30, and he is on fire. On fire, meaning in 14 matches in the Bundesliga this year, he scored 17 goals, a much higher percentage than Harry Kane in the same league. So everyone's been on him watching this player. A number of clubs have come for him, uh, particularly the clubs we are familiar with, clubs like Manchester United and Tottenham have also come for him. Um, yeah, recently, there was an article posted by ESPN that mentioned that um, he will, I guess he turned down the United offer and is opting to play for Tottenham instead. We'll see how he plays out in this winter transfer window, but he's a guy who, if you look at his skills, he passes the eye test because of the kind of goals he scores. Shows a lot of poise in front of goal. He shows some good striking on the ball. He happens to be in the right place at the right time. Finishes. Scores a lot of these goals. In some environments, uh, scouts may look at the player like this and say they may want to see more to see what he can deliver, given that he hasn't really been this proficient up until now. I think 
a lot of people are going to watch the African Cup of Nations to see how well he performs for Guinea. Considering that he is, or Guinea rather, is not really stacked with a lot of well-known players. They do have some talent, but it'll be interesting to see. And I think it'll be watched across the board to see how well he does for them. Uh, see if he can, I guess, duplicate the form he's shown at Stuttgart this year. Uh, strengths, of course, tall player, very tall, lanky, good in the air, able to finish, striking the ball well, shown poise, penalties, setting up other players on the goal. So definitely seems to have the skills. He's on our list because of what, what he's done this year. And, and, and when you watch him, you kind of realize that he does have the tools to change the team if he's playing very well with good attacking players, uh, good midfielders or wingers. And then that might be the case if he pairs well with Keita um, and then see how well he does. But he's a player to watch for sure, given his form, his current form. I mean, to have a goal ratio that's much better than Harry Kane in the same league is not an easy feat. So let's see how it goes. All right. Next, we're going to move on to next in the series, that is. We'll move on to take a look at uh, Nigeria's Victor Osimhen, who's another player to watch. Thanks for joining us. All the best, guys. Out.